ever wondered what a dinosaur tasted like? Well, you might have already found out. Think about what you had for dinner last night. If it was chicken, you weren't just eating a bird. You were eating a modern-day dinosaur. I know it sounds crazy, but stick with me. Genetically, the common chicken is the closest living relative to the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex and the fearsome Velociraptor. So how did this happen? How did a terrifying predator become a bucket of fried chicken? Let's rewind the clock about 66 million years. A massive asteroid strikes the Earth, causing a cataclysmic event that wiped out most of the dinosaurs. It was the end of an era. But not for everyone. One special group of dinosaurs managed to survive the apocalypse. They were called the theropods. This group included famous names like T-Rex and Velociraptor. While their larger cousins perished, a smaller feathered branch of the theropod family tree held on. They didn't just survive, they thrived and evolved. Over millions of years, these survivors adapted to the new world. Their bodies shrank, they developed more sophisticated feathers, their snouts turned into beaks, and their powerful forelimbs transformed into wings for flight. They became the birds we know and see every single day. Every pigeon on the street, every sparrow in your backyard, and yes, every chicken on the farm is a direct descendant of these incredible dinosaur survivors. So when you look at a chicken, you're looking at a branch of the dinosaur family that never truly went extinct. But the story gets even wilder. Scientists today aren't just studying this connection, they're actively trying to reverse it. It's a field called reverse evolution. By carefully studying avian DNA and comparing it to the fossil record, researchers are learning how to switch certain genes on and off. Their goal? To hatch a chicken that looks more like its ancient ancestors. It's a project with a seriously cool name, the Chickenosaurus. Believe it or not, they've already had some success. Scientists have managed to tweak the genes in a chicken embryo, causing it to grow a dinosaur-like snout instead of a beak. In other experiments, they've even been able to get embryos to develop long reptilian tails, just like a small raptor would have had. We're not quite to the point of a living, breathing mini-dinosaur running around, but the science is getting closer every day. It's a real-life Jurassic Park scenario unfolding in a lab. So, the next time you see a bird looking at you, just remember its ancient, powerful lineage. You're not just looking at a simple animal, you're looking at a tiny raptor, a living piece of history, just waiting for its moment. For more incredible facts that will blow your mind, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.